you know, in boxing, people say they're always looking for the next superstar. The fans, who's the next superstar? Who's the next, you know, major big superstar? And going into this fight with Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, he's already a superstar. But after the victory, and the fact of the matter was, the fight was bloody good. It was a bloody good fight. It's a fight you'd want to watch again. You know, even though you know the result, you'll want to watch it again because it was really entertaining. It was really fun. Ryan Garcia, in the eyes of many, has redeemed himself for what happened against Tank Davis. And I've always said about the Tank Davis fight, right? Do I think Ryan Garcia could have got up from that knockdown? Yeah, I do. I genuinely do. He can say that he was weight drained, they had the re and he didn't look good on fight night in terms of you know everything. He did look drained. But at the end of the day, no one forced him to sign away all those rights. He didn't have to take the catch weight. He didn't have to take the rehydration clause. He didn't have to do any of that. Now, he could, and Ryan, even against Tank Davis, you could argue was the bigger star. He didn't need to do that. He obviously wanted to go ahead with the fight, but he, he really didn't need to do that. And I think he should. I don't think anyone would have really begrudged him if he'd said, look, this was what was on offer, a catch weight rehydrate. It would have absolutely killed me. I don't think anyone would really begrudge them that much if they said, okay, look, well, rehydration, you're struggling with the weight, you catch weight, okay, fair enough. In this fight, obviously it was, I'm not glorifying him missing weight by three pounds, certainly not. It's very unprofessional. But in this fight, you could see he was fully hydrated, he was fully, I don't want to say he was fully there because God knows what he's, God knows what's going on up there with Ryan Garcia. Do I think some of it was trolling? Yeah. You could say, with hindsight, you could say a lot of it probably was, but you do wonder is is he a hundred percent okay and that's a good question and that's i don't know i think time will tell with that with regards to the fight in of itself as i said it was a great fight i really enjoyed it ryan went in there with devin haney and even though ryan is the bigger name and there he is he wasn't the champion he was fighting devin haney eddie hearn golden boy they're both with the zones it's not like he was going on to the other guy's network or anything like that but devin haney was the champion and the fact that one judge scored at a draw the fact that harvey doc who again i've always said is a very good referee he's one of the referees i would rate quite highly made some questionable decisions with regards to knockdowns and certainly with the point deduction which i didn't particularly like in the seventh round you know give him a warning don't just straight in you know docking points yeah you're not allowed to hit on the break i get that but at the end of the day, that's what warnings are for as well at the end of the day. So it seemed to me as though Devin Haney was firmly the A-side. It seemed anyway, come off fight night. Ryan's gone in. He's done the job. He's got the win. Okay, you can say whatever you want about the three pounds. Fair enough. But nevertheless, he's got the win. His star has now risen again. And if Ryan wasn't already a superstar, he certainly is now. To the point where you would look at fights like Tiafima Lopez... And you're like, hmm. Even though Lopez would be going into that fight as champion, and he probably would go in as the favourite, I probably would take Tiafima Lopez to beat Ryan Garcia. To be, I'd be a brilliant fight. It'd be a hell of a fight. But I probably would just edge Tiafima Lopez to beat Ryan Garcia. Tiafima Lopez, I don't even think. In fact, I'm, I don't think at all. He is the. He's not the bigger star. He might very well go in as the A side, but he might not be the bigger star and they might look you know golden boy might say ryan is the man he's the guy who's doing the numbers they are tuning in to watch ryan garcia not tiafima lopez it just helps that you're there that could cause some issues it could cause some issues against most guys you know even a tank davis if he was to move up to 140 and try and do a rematch ryan now i think even though because what the hell is tank davis done he's only fighting frank martin for god's sakes over a year later ryan's had two fights in between and he's beaten devin haney so You'd say that the form guy, and this is what I spoke about. I spoke about this in, in a few videos, that you could actually take an L in a fight. And if you go and put together some good wins and, you know, a, a very good win in the case of Devin Haney, the fans can somewhat forget about it. They can forget about that loss. They can say, oh, he's redeemed himself or whatever. You get the win, but you literally do nothing. You don't push on. You kind of fans almost think of you as a says an afterthought. They're just like, oh yeah, when's the last time Tank Davis fought? R Ryan? Oh, yeah, I remember. He's not fought since then. No, he's fighting now. Frank Martin. Who? And he fought Ryan. You know, as I said, it's like a loss is not the end of the world for a fighter. More, what you need to worry about is just not pushing on from a big win. 
and then you know waiting over a year or fighting to Frank Martin. No disrespect to him, but he's not you know in the same conversation as Ryan Garcia or any of those guys at one. Well, he's obviously going to be at one thirty five. And with that, Tank Davis is almost seen as kind of you know the lesser of the two, not in terms of you know talent, but in terms of oh he's not the name now. It's Ryan Garcia people are talking about, and. Ryan at 140 or in fact if he goes to 147 which it seems likely that's where he'll end up he is going to be the name people are going to be coming to watch I mean we already knew that from years ago but with this win and how good the fight was Ryan's star power is just if it was there it's gone to there now it's going to be massive and he is the next big star he already is a big star what am I saying he's going to be the next one he is a big star but he will be, in my opinion, the Canelo Mayweather. Maybe not quite the Mayweather-Pacquiao numbers. In fact, I don't think we'll ever get numbers like that again, Mayweather-McGregor. But he's going to be the main pay-per-view guy now moving forward. That of which I've no doubt. Does that mean he's going to be as good as Canelo or Mayweather? I don't think he is. I think that Ryan is a very, very good fighter. He's an excellent fighter. He's a top-class fighter. But there are fighters out there who I would look at, even at 140, and think, ooh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have him as favoured against Ryan Garcia, or I wouldn't have Ryan favoured against him. Tiafima Lopez I'd favour. Maybe even Subram Mateus I might even favour. I probably would just edge Ryan Garcia, but I look at Ryan and I think, you don't really have a back foot game. You don't fight on the back foot too much. And Subram Mateus, you're going to need to hit him hard. You're going to need to move a lot. That's not really Ryan's game. So I'd look at those fights and I'd think that could be dangerous. If he wins, I wouldn't, I'd probably pick him over Mateus, but I probably would favour Tiafima Lopez ever so slightly against Ryan. But either way, I think they're all going to be good fights. And I think that Ryan now, his name is high, his, his name is high on people's lips. It's people, obviously he's a star. People are going to want to fight him. And would people be willing to, com see, here's the thing you got to think about as well. Would you be willing to compromise and take the b-side if you're tiafima lopez and you are a champion would be willing to compromise and take the b-side and just think right if i beat him and i do it well and i push on oh, i'm gonna be doing ballpark numbers from then that's what i would look at and think you know tiafima lopez is not doesn't quite see things the way everyone else does unfortunately great fighter though brilliant fighter so yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Ryan Garcia, I think he is a star. He's already a star, but his star power is going to just go through the roof following on from this performance. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video, people. Smash the like button if you could. Subscribe, of course, as always, if you haven't already. Peace.